it's important to recognize that our view of Trump does not mirror that of the hashtag resistance group. I just don't agree with the people who are like, he's a fascist, he's a Nazi, the country's not going to exist in four years. You're hyperbolic and you're ridiculous. And that matters because it gives us a sort of asymmetric power positioning. The two sides that are out there are not left and right. Like we've been gaslit into believing the two sides are the people versus the establishment. The Democratic establishment is very clear that anyone, not just who would challenge their um, power, but anyone who even holds an anti-corporate ideology is their enemy. And the establishment is very clearly on both sides of the aisle. It's so clear now that the whole vote blue no matter who line is a total con job designed to quash any dissent so that they can fully shove any neoliberal corporatist nonsense down our throats. You have Republican establishment and you have Democrat establishment. That is, that's who we're up against. It's the people versus the establishment. It's not left and right. At what point do you say, no, I'm not participating, I'm not accepting that these are the choices available to me. Billy Bob, who voted for Trump, who's trying to make it in the middle of, in the middle of Arkansas or Idaho, as much as you might think he's the giant threat, he is not your threat. That's the true like, myth in politics is that there's not very much that the elites disagree on at all. It's all around a select group of policies in one way or the other, one with diversity initiatives attached and one with a little bit more tax cuts. That's really all. That's the only flavor that you get to choose from. And these progressives have not seemed to wrap their minds around that. We've seemed, a lot, we've seemed to have lost sight of what the progressive movement is, it is to fight the establishment, not join it. Your capitulation has made it easy and painless for the democratic keepers of the status quo to continue to crush our working class agenda. I'm on your side if you're the people. I'm not on your side if you are the establishment. That is it. We might have genuine disagreements with one another. And we might be able to hash those out through conversation. But we cannot even do that if the establishment is continually in control of Washington. Yeah!